Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. I'm actually really upset. I did a full like 12 minutes of recording of this video originally, and uh, I realized I was recording my Facebook page and not the damn Dokkan Battle Wiki. So I'm very upset about that. I did a full, nice, very in-depth video about this. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, here we are for the team building guide of the Ginyu Force. Now, um, this is pretty self-explanatory. You're pretty much just going to use all the units that you've 100%ed. He, this Captain Ginyu is currently only available by 100%ing all of the current free-to-play Ginyu events. Uh, that is like the Jice, the Burger, the Guldo, the Raccoon, and the Captain Ginyu events. Get them all to 100%, and then this guy will be unlocked as a mission reward. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory other than that, like I was saying, they're all rainbow gear. We'll pretty much run all of them on this team. I did want to talk about some of the honorable mentions. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing. I've seen a huge jump in subscribers over the past two weeks just for me mentioning um, to remember to subscribe if you guys like my content. Um, so really, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I've jumped up like almost 100 subs so far. So I really want to, I think we're going to be able to hit uh, the 2000 mark by the end of the month. So I appreciate it, and if you guys, you know, if you are new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button to help show your support of the channel. Uh, anyway, uh, this is going to be Ginyu Force, Ginyu Force Reborn, Ginyu Goku, Ginyu Force. How many times are we going to say Ginyu three times in one damn freaking title? Leader ability is Ginyu Force, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack is Milky Cannon, 12 to 17 key, and the 18 plus key is Special Fighting Assault. Um, so, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage, is Melky Cannon. Uh, mega colossal damage, the enemy raises extreme class allies by attack by 30% for one turn, is 18 plus key. Uh, now, overall, he's, doesn't, he's not going to do a lot of damage. His passive skill over here is extreme class allies, attack and defense plus 30%, and then he gives an additional attack and defense plus 20% for Ginyu Force members. So, he's pretty much a support unit for them, but he's giving a ridiculous buff to everyone, and if he's, obviously, because he's the LR, he's going to tank a lot better, so you want him on your primary rotation, and he's going to do some decent damage compared to the other units that you have, so you're definitely going to want to have him available um, to do the main, the primary damage. Uh, let's see over here. You have uh, link skills of the Ginyu Force Signature Pros and Gentlemen. These are going to be the three primary link skills that, you know, uh, are going to be available to you because Ginyu Force is a 25% attack buff and Signal Repose and Gentlemen are key buffs. The rest are just kind of like whack. Respect is 500, loyalty is one key, and more than meets the eyes, 300 attack buff. Legendary power is our right, but no one else is a legendary on this team. Categories are Planet Namek Saga and Ginyu Force. The Planet Namek Saga, the only leader right now, is going to be that Strength Gohan that you got to 100% then EZ Awakened or Extreme Z Awakened. Um, but you can run them on the team if you want to, but uh, we're, this is going to be specific to Ginyu Force. Uh, max stats are HP of 11,766, attack of 12,1224, and defense of 8,887. Um, let's see. Yeah, we already talked about that. We talked about that. His 12 key multiplier 140% is 20, 140%. 12, 24 key is 200%. Maximum super attack level is 20, which I don't really recommend doing, but you can, which increases super attack multiplier uh, by an additional 30%. Greatly raises attack is for one turn, is 50% modifier, and these are the units, as always, that you need to get to 100% before you can get him available. Now, personally, I feel like they should have given us the, the dupe system of all five of the current units. I feel like they should have allowed us to use those orbs for him. Uh, my thing would have been like Captain Ginyu would have been the base dupe system, then any of the other four Ginyu Force members would have been any of the other four dupes. That way you would have to grind all of those events to get him super attack level or his potential system out maxed. I really feel like they should have done that, but they didn't, so you're just using your orbs for him. Again, I don't think you should do it personally. I think that yeah, he's a decent unit, but he's only there for the leader ability. Um, he's there for buffing everyone else, and you're really never going to use him in a real-life situation. Uh, maybe if they ever have a Ginyu Force exclusive event, then you would do that. Overall, not bad um, of a unit. Pretty cool. And plus, it's just it's just fun to have because they are the Ginyu Force. Um, now, I want to talk about some of the honorable mentions. Um, in terms of honorable mentions, I think that this is the first one. Intimidating Body Exchange Ginyu Goku. He is available from the Baba Shop Treasure for 50 uh, Baba Shop Treasures. Uh, the only thing about him is he is a Key Orb Manipulator, so it's pretty viable. Thing is, he does Tech to Rainbow. Um... So it kind of screws the Captain Ginyu, the LR, because he is a tech. But he literally hits off every single Link skill except for Legendary Power. Now, do you need every Link skill? No, not really. He hits off all the crappy um, attack buffs that are just flat-out buffs, like uh, More Than Meets the Eye and... Um, what is it? Uh, the Gin well, he hits off the Ginyu Force. So what is it? Sign uh, More Than Meets the Eye and Respect. So that's an 800 attack buff. Uh, he also has loyalty, so he's giving him five key total. So he has five key key manipulation for the LR, 
So either the Dalar Ginyu is literally going to be able to get off his super attack without any issues. 18 key makes it a little bit easier as well. And he gives him the Ginyu Force. But the tech key or manipulation kind of sucks. Plus, uh, if you guys know, I prefer type to type uh, as my primary key or manipulation. Secondary would be type to rainbow, which this one is. So he's like that middle ground for me. And then the worst type is rainbow to type uh, just because of the fact that uh, it could actually inhibit you because those rainbows will come in a lot more handy than uh, having a damn uh, a type of orb there because it could block you from getting more. Anyway, he is there. Hits off every single link skill except for legendary power. So if you have him, you can consider running him on the team if you want to. You don't need to, and I would still recommend running any of the other units that you have already 100% it because they're going to do a lot more damage and tank a lot better than this guy. Um, the next one is going to be the Master of Magic, Guldo. Now, the only bringing him up because of his passive skill, if you guys don't know, if you weren't around for it, uh, when the physical Broly came out and the OG Broly event came out, no one could really beat him because no one could out-damage his defense. His defense was so high that everyone did almost no damage to him. Um, I believe the OG, yeah, the OG one was before even crits were a thing, so you couldn't even bypass it with a crit. Um, so, we all relied on this ghoul, though. Pretty much this ghoul, though, if you didn't have any of the special units. Because once Broly attacked him, his defense went down to zero, and then he was pretty much one-shottable. Um, not really one-shottable, but you could one-shot him. I think I, I pretty much brought a nuking team, uh, my agility nuking team. Uh, with the with the whatever the leader was I think it was the the Frieza was the leader and then I pretty much brought all my super powered units I would wait for Broly to attack my Guldo if I went into the event and Guldo wasn't the first one or actually no it wasn't I wasn't that bad big of a deal it wasn't that he didn't need to be the first but I would go in and then I would let him attack and attack and I would save the key for the nuking ability I would use all my freaking orbs after I killed like the first round of him and then I would let him attack Guldo and then boom he was dead it was awesome but he is there for that specific reason. It, he literally lowers the, the opponent's defense to zero, which means you could do a lot more damage. To him. Uh, maybe not be, it might will not be as relevant today as it was back in the day, but just keep that in mind. I did want to throw him there as an honorable mention. Last but not least is this specific version of the Intelligence Captain Ginyu. There are two SR Captain Ginyus. Uh, the only reason I'm here for him, or I'm saying he's an honorable mention, is because he has the ability to seal an uh, enemy super attack when key is five or more. If you're running him on a double LR lead, He's always going to have six key, so just keep that in mind when you're when you're running uh, the when they get you force. Again, you don't need to. Um, he's not vi he's not really viable because I mean you don't really need to seal super attacks, but uh, especially because it's a may seal, it's like a twenty five percent chance or something like that. So it's not really worth it. But I did want to say he's an honorable mention to run there. But since everything is free to play, there's no real reason to run a summonable SR from like generation one of the damn summons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, they are there. Now, in terms of team building, I did put this Ginyu up over here, just so you can see the six link skills that he has. It's it, it, it's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Two, four, five key, 25% attack buff, and 800 flat out boost. It's not horrible. Uh, we're going to take it off, though, just because, it, you know, you don't need it there. Uh, pretty much, this is what's gonna, what you're most likely going to want to run. You're going to run Captain Ginyu with LR Ginyu. Uh, you're going to have Jice and Burter. You can put them two on one rotation because they do have, um, what is it, Tag Team of Terror for 500 attack. It's only 500 attack, but you could run them together if you want to. Uh, outside of that, there's really no reason. I mean, like, extreme type allies, uh, key plus 2, attack, and, uh, attack plus 20%, foresees enemy super attack, so if they're going to super you, you can know when it's coming with him on the field. Uh, Burger, I think he is, attack plus 10%, high chance to evade enemy's attack um, as the first attacker in turn, so you're going to want him to be primary uh, the first on the first rotation. So you could have it like that. Um, so these two are really good together. Then you also have Guldo. Guldo is a debuffer. He links four with Jice. But if you want uh, Burger to dodge, you're going to want to have him there anyway. Otherwise, you're just going to have Burger off rotation for the hell of it. But it's up to you. Uh, and last but not least, you have Raccoon. And Raccoon is a defense plus 80%. Attack plus 14% for each attack received up to 70%. So he's a little bit more of a, t of a tank. Uh, uh, he has a 200% defense buff. Well, it's HP attack and defense buff from, from the leader ability. Then he gives himself an additional 80%. So it's not horrible. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, if you're looking for defensive purposes, you might want to run Guldo and Raccoon. So what you could probably do is run Guldo first, then Raccoon. Uh, Guldo with double attacks will d debuff the enemy. Raccoon, because of his defensive buff, will tank a little bit better. And then when he's receiving those attacks, he's going to uh, do more damage up until he reaches his maximum of 70%. 
And then next round, it's going to be Captain Ginyu and LR Ginyu. And on off of your primary rotation, Jice will be a good support unit. Burner, not so much. I mean, he's just kind of there as a 100% unit because he can tank a little bit better at 100%. Um, or you can bring the other Ginyu, because if you bring the other Ginyu, uh, the SR one that I talked about, he'll at least link better and be a little bit of a key orb manipulator, which may help out. I mean, he doesn't link with any of these guys, but he links with Captain Ginyu and LR Captain Ginyu for five and six link skills, respectively. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, it's definitely a fun team to run. Ginyu Force is always fun to, uh, to play around with. Um, so if you guys got him, I still haven't gotten him. I still need to, like, I need to 100% my Guldo, and I need to 100%... Whatever Friday's character is, I think it's Jice. Um, I, those are the only two that I need to 100%, at least at the point, this point in the game. Um, it's probably Sunday by the time you guys are watching this video, so um, I, I probably would have, have either done it by now or I'm probably going to finish it up tonight. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.